and it is now on 12 o'clock and I'm looking at a bare wrist. It is now 12 o'clock. I mean, jeepers, what is that? That is like a turd has landed from a height and splattered and then I've gone and stuck some chocolate water on top. Okay, so this is the most exciting dress and I am eating like I don't care. to some point in the Christmas vlogs guys <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is gonna be near the beginning or midway <clears throat> it is 10 o'clock at night and as you can see I'm a little worn out it has been a very difficult day understatement but we've had many of those and we will have many more so we must pick on pick on see I can't even speak now we must pick ourselves up and get on with the show <laughs> As they say in show business, which I am in right now, which is a nice world to be in, to be honest, compared to the real world. <laughs> Anywho, I just thought I would show you what I have been up to this evening. I haven't been able to get it done during the day as our day was very, very dramatic. So as a way of uh, coming down off of that, I decided to bake um, some lovely bickies. Uh, for my co-workers as a little Christmas gift um, and unfortunately that also was not so successful either so it's a little bit of a day of a lot of failure <laughs> however now don't laugh I mean you can if you like I mean I know that I am I mean jeepers what is that that is like a turd has landed from a height and splattered and then I've gone and stuck some chocolate walnuts on top I mean now <laughs> These are, and they resemble nothing of them, chocolate Afghan biscuits, which is a New Zealand uh, cocoa cornflake biscuit. Uh, and because we have a celiac uh, at work, I basically made all of the cookies with gluten-free flour. Little did I know that that would result in a very spreadable cookie. So I need to do my reading about that before I go ahead and make another batch. Um, so that's them. But then what was more successful and what turned out as it was meant to were these gluten-free uh, snowballs, as they call them. And they're basically a gluten-free shortbread with uh, nuts. I chose pecan nuts. And uh, then you roll them in icing sugar at the end. And here we have more of the little babies. And I now find myself with a little bit of time to actually put these little babies into uh, a little baggie or takeaway plate. Um, I was going to choose a bag, but they're so delicate that I dare not even rub them against or have them touching each other. So I think I'm going to pop them on some plates, a bit of cellophane, tie a little bit of ribbon, and that should be just enough, I think. Um, and then I'm going to sit myself down and do a new face. I haven't had a chance to get it done today. So it's been a long time since I've done the evening new face. Um, and I do feel like I need a bit of a, you know, a bit of a lift. So I will see you after the lift. And the one that got away, which has my name written all over it. And despite the fact that it is not my finest hour, I've baked a lot of cakes in my lifetime, but ironically, not many biscuits. These are still very, very delectable. I never really had. I mean, this is my third one. Plus the uh, splattered turd. <laughs> Make that four. Four cookies. Four cookies in one day. Mm -hmm. It's that time of year. And here are the finished packages. Really nothing much to see here, folks. I um, <coughs> had to spread my biscuits a little thin due to the multitude of people so um anywho that's just enough some people don't like many biscuits so for those people you're welcome <laughs> i'm gonna pop some labels on them and then i will carefully pop them into a bag to take to work okay <clears throat> can we tell that i've done my new face or do i just look puffy and tired 
because I don't know the difference. I was literally <laughs> shutting my eyes as I was doing that. Oh, the sacrifices we have to make to stay young, guys. But probably the most important thing for us to stay young is to get a sleep, of which I will do now. I will see you when I pick up my camera next. <laughs> Alright, so what is on our Christmas shopping list? So we need to do essentials plus eggs, chocolate, buttermilk, cherries, cream, plain flour, breakfast, and alright, I think we're good. Let's go. Did you say cherries? Yep. Now this is new: a apple and cinnamon honey tonic. And look at this one. Gluten free. I've been looking for one of these for ages, but it does come with a hefty price tag. Oh, no, that'll make a really good gift for a gluten free person. Oh my gosh, they have a cheesecake one. What the hell? And the pistachio cream. Coming into Aldi for chocolate, cherries, and cornflakes, and walking out with a jewelry case and I think a watch case. That's how I like to shop. Impulsively. <laughs> this would be right up my street. Coffee advent calendar, but alas. Nope, we're not doing it. Saving money. Not this year. Now, isn't that a wholesome sight? A lovely farmhouse crate full of cornflakes and eggs. Dinnerware set. And seven hampers later, yes, for future pantry. 60 day return policy, so we'll see if they fit. <gasps> oh my lord, don't take me shopping. This is a party, and this is a very good price for the amount of wine you get. There's a lot of rosé right there. Before I bathe the children, I'm going to quickly just take my face off and douse myself in a quick shower. And I thought I'd indulge in a bit of Christmas pampering. So, uh, <clears throat> I purchased this from Aldi the other day. And this is a coffee body scrub. It wasn't that cheap, it was $9, but... I looked at the ingredients and it contains like coconut, coffee, shea butter, walnuts. I mean, all the stuff that I love to eat. So I thought this would be a lovely thing to indulge in over the new year and uh, summer just to do a bit of body care. So I'm going to open it now, have a bit of smell, but I will um, rub myself in this and I might even fake tan later on. I'll see if I have time or during the week anyway, before Christmas, I'll make it happen. Okay, here it is. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, guys. Oh, that looks like a coffee smoothie. And, oh my gosh, it smells. It smells like coffee ice cream, like coffee gelato. Oh, this is gonna be heavenly. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I have just done my weekly pampering shower and decongesting facial and feeling a lot cleaner after a very Busy day. And whilst the children are asleep and it is quarter past nine now, haven't had any dinner. We've got some homemade gnocchi, almost ready to go from the freezer with some bolognese sauce. Uh, I thought I would take you through my getting ready for Christmas routine, which is redoing my nails, you know, um, again, just looking after my skin, doing a nice body scrub which you saw earlier for my pampering shower and um, doing that in advance because generally before the big day it's just go 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 and it's all a blur. Anyhow so I thought I would show you what I picked up recently from the chemist and that is some brand new Sally Hansen gel polishes and I actually got myself a brand new top coat don't you just love the packaging so silver and festive because the old one is kind of starting to get a bit stringy. I've had that for a few years now, so I thought it was about time that I had a top up for that. But I picked up some very festive colours that were on special. This one being, what shade is this? Red it twice, and it is a sparkly, rich Christmas red colour. And then this one is called 
shade 902 living in the presence so of course very festive and this is uh pink with silver sparkles in it so i was going to use red for my toenails and for my fingers i'm not quite sure i wanted to do like a feature nail situation like maybe red combined with this however because of work and just daily living because of work and daily living i've actually chipped i'm not sure if you can see it's going to focus for me actually chipped most of my nails so we have a few good ones left but some of them are really damaged um this hand's not too bad so maybe i'll just go with the shorter nails i really would love to get some fake press on nails but i'm just so worried about the whole like getting things stuck under them and feeling like they're gonna fall off like i'm just <laughs> I'm not experienced in that, but I think in a future video, I am going to try some because I've heard some really good reviews on these nails that you can set under a gel lamp and manipulate and they harden. <clears throat> and it's just as good as getting like um, professional manicures done and you do them in the comfort of your home, obviously. And they're meant to last for two weeks. So I will be giving that a go at some point, but in the meantime, Sally Hansen gel will do me just fine. And before I have a red hot crack at my Tootsies, I thought I would take you through some new additions to the tree behind me. If any, any of you have noticed, we have some Lightning McQueen or Disney Pixar cars themed um, <laughs> decorations, which we did as a family. Um, we have Mater the tow truck, and we just used some, what do they call that? Piping. Piping. Piping wire. Funnel pipes. What do they call these? Major the tow truck, and we just used some. What do they call that? Piping, piping, piping wire, funnel pipes. What do they call these? Oh my gosh, it's literally wrecked my brain. I am so disoriented this time of year. We've had so much going on. It's just been beyond. I've been beyond stressed to my limit, and. Um, I just, I just need a holiday, which is coming soon. There will be some holiday vlogs, hopefully. <laughs> Anyhow, they look absolutely lovely on our tree and gives it a lovely homemade touch. But I'm going to get off and have some gnocchi and then get to some well-deserved pampering. has just re-entered my body after that meal. That was very, very satisfying. There's nothing like a bit of homemade donkey, which I made a few days ago with the kids. I didn't film it because it has just been, I told you, one of these times of year where it's just meh, is all I have to say about it. It's just blanket statement, meh. Anywho, enough about meh, and on to more, <laughs> on to more, uh, enlightened, positive, just whatever things. Sometimes we need a lot of whatever things in our life, shelly things like nail polish, which I'm going to do shortly. So I'm going to begin with my toes. I think I'll do them upstairs in bed and I will show you the afters, probably better in the daylight. So the next clip could be my Tootsies in daylight, but I'm going to do these and I've also trimmed my nails so they're more uh, the same length. And you know what? Regardless of whether they're perfect or not, I'm just going to give them a red hot crack because I'm just feeling it. I just need a bit of a pamper and I need to be lightened up. And sorry that I'm so shiny, it's not the wine. <laughs> I happened to um, do my skincare and then shower which is different for me but just so happened to be that way it's just a lot of my ceo glow oil by sunday riley which is doing my skin beautiful beautiful uh positive things i've got a nice glass of a what's it called a nice glass of shiraz actually we've been into our shirazes lately in fact i should talk more about wine we do tend to drink wine on a weekly basis but just here and there with like our meals and um particularly good one <clears throat> particularly oh my lord anyway anyhow me and my grated cheese are going to take ourselves off to bed and um do a bit of home pampering And 
this is the after. Very happy, festive Christmas tootsies. And that looked like it took a minute, but um, <laughs> it is a few days on, I have to admit, from that morning, that Christmassy morning. But I thought I would include the clip. Anyway, as an intro, again, hello everyone, and welcome to another Vlogmas. Um, so throughout this video, we'll be doing quite a few things to catch up on life, because we've been very behind on life, but we are now catching up and also been having a lot of mood swings up and down so we're actually feeling a lot more positive today so hence why i'm filming this video i have managed to get myself together this morning and it is now on 12 o'clock and i'm looking at a bare wrist it is now 12 o'clock oh yeah <laughs> wonderful brilliant acting brilliant improv improv improvisation <laughs> Anyhow, and I'm going to film a Christmas dessert recipe, um, so I will be doing that and I will link uh, the video up above in case you want to check out my very quick and fun uh, Christmas dessert jars inspired by one of my favourite drinks of the season right now, which I will show you. Um, but I am a cereal outfit re-wearer, so for the uh, baking tutorial, I am wearing the outfit that I wore the other day and I'll flip you around so you can see. And that is this lovely top from m and I think it's mango, and it's red and sparkly, hence Christmas. And I'm wearing my new uh, Ricklia necklace, which is a half chain, half pearl situation. And again, some pearly gold, so very, very, very festive. And my lovely lure of leggings and cotton on cushy slides, and so enjoying the red nails. Oh, it's so nice to have pedicured feet. I did that very last minute before I hopped off to work yesterday. Anyhow, uh, in this video, we are going to be making dessert and we're also going to be doing a hell of a lot of unpacking and I think I'm going to end this vlog with the whole actual Christmas because it's going to be snippets of how I'm getting ready for the big day or days ahead which is going to be absolutely massive because you've got to go from one house we're going to be house hopping family hopping make sure we're touching base with everyone it's going to be a very hectic busy time so uh, come along for the journey there's going to be a lot of glam there's going to be a lot of sweat and tears and <laughs> cooking and food of course lots and lots of food so uh let's get to it without further ado after i do a bit of dessert prepping we are going to be doing a bit of unpacking and then probably gift wrapping i think um and then also dessert more dessert making because i'm making quite a few desserts for all the different places we are visiting so i can obviously bring something Okay, so I've almost finished my Bailey's apple pie inspired dessert and I've tasted every element and let me tell you so far it is tasting pretty damn good and I couldn't help but of course have a little tipple of Bailey's in the process. I mean you do have to sample everything as a cook but as I'm here I am actually reminiscing on something that is very special outside. We have made some progress in our lives in a certain area. Ha ha! Let me show you. And this is all while the uh apples for my apple pie Bailey's dessert are cooling but we have some Cosmo they have finally bloomed well I think this is the Cosmo I don't think this is the um what was the other one that we were growing can't remember <laughs> not Rebecca yet um cosmo poppy we haven't seen any poppies yet they are here but they're not looking so good in fact the sun is really drying these guys out so i think i'm going to put them in the shade and give them a little bit of water and whilst i'm here i think i'm going to give our blueberries a bit of a water these are our home blueberries and they are coming along absolutely beautifully we've already sampled some it takes them quite a while to ripen, fun little fact. So I uh, can't wait for these to ripen up so we can enjoy some. But it's taken a few years to develop this plant into the state that it is now where it can actually bear fruit. But anyhow, while I'm out here, the sun is very, very strong. It's 28 today and uh, the week before Christmas and we are just feeding the little babies outside. And this is quite the abundance of mint, which inspires me to make maybe something mojito-ish. Because I used to make this on a regular basis back in my 20s. Maybe it's time to make a, uh, make a thing of it again. All right, so I've just concluded my um, Bailey's apple pie video. And uh, let me tell you, I am just having a little moment to myself. Right now, I think I'm a genius. This is hands down one of the best Christmas desserts I've ever made. It's like a mini trifle in a jar is how I would describe it. Mmm. 
And this is also a first attempt. So, please should give this a go. It's amazing. Um, copyright claim. Opal Blades. Oh my lord. I am a genius. I'm tooting my own horn right now. And I am eating. Like I don't care. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, I will see you soon after I've finished indulging. Mm. Oh, and I should mention, for those of you who are curious about the recipe, not sure if it's for them, it contains digestives with a bit of cinnamon and butter at the bottom, a cheesecake layer with the apple baileys, and then a Biscoff layer on top. Biscoff being um, also known as Speculoos cookie spread, which is a Dutch cookie, which is then ground up, mixed with a lot of additives and made into a cookie spread, like a cookie that you can spread on anything. Genius. Oh my gosh. Anyone that is in Disney, into Disney Pixar cars, we have just regained the full collection. Holy moly. Okay, so done. I have a meeting coming up. So <clears throat> literally I've gone through what we could now call as the uh, mail room, which is all the unopened packages from the last, I'd say month. I just haven't had time to open any packages or sort through anything. Some of them are Christmas gifts. Some of them are little purchases for because who can resist a little bit of, you know, self-love during the Christmas season? We're all too busy buying for everyone else. You know, you can't resist buying a little something for yourself as well. I mean, I'm not sure if you're that kind of person, but you know when you're buying a gift and you're like, oh my gosh, I think I want that for myself as well. That's a little bit what I was experiencing. Anyway, uh, what have I picked up here? It's been a while because it's been literally months ago. Oh, special offer from Dinnerly. Okay, thanks for the iPhone. Since I've assessed what I actually have ordered and hopefully I can still return them. I think I can. I think there's a 60 day return policy or an extended return policy um, during the Christmas period. Let's have a look. So I picked uh -huh, this satin shirt from Daisy. It's oversized. So I got it in the size, like the smallest size they had. Uh, because I just don't do oversized very well. It just makes me look like a paper bag. So I picked this up in the intention of wearing it with some black leggings for just like a very loungy um, sort of home look. So I will try this on. This was in substitution for the Santini satin shirt by Cotton On, uh, which they still have in stock. I'm not sure if they still have it in stock in the champagne, but at the time I just couldn't get my hands on it because it sold out very, very quickly. So I'm going to give that a little whirl. And also in this bag, what else did I order? A shirt dress. I did not remember this. But I must have ordered it. This is very bizarre. This is bad. It's been it's been this long. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Ah uh, no, I do remember actually. So this is a designer shirt dress by So So Severi. Um, and it's linen, of course, and it comes with its own belt. And it has an elasticized back to the belt as well, which is very different. Um, so I thought this would be a really good staple for summer. It's long sleeve as well, so good protection in case it gets a bit chilly. Um, so I'm going to give this a whirl as well. And obviously I purchased this all when, I think it's during Black Friday that I purchased these. That's right. This is Black Friday when all the sales are on, so I thought I'd treat myself a little something something. So linen shirt dress, always practical and versatile. So with a black satin shirt for lounging. And this is the jewelry piece I ordered. Aha, uh -huh. in pearl by Aurelia, by Aurelia London. Let's have a look. And yes, it is by Aurelia London. And uh, it is this lovely pearl bracelet with a single pearl piece and Ironically, as well, surprisingly, it's called Aurelia London, but this is actually made in Korea. So here you go, and this is just roughly put on. Isn't that beautiful? It actually goes really well with this stack that I have going on right now. How perfect. I'm really, really into Aurelia London. They are so affordable and do really good quality jewelry. Like this is weighty. This is like 
really good quality so I'm super impressed with them definitely keeping I had my eye on this for so so long and I finally got my hands on it on the Black Friday, Black Friday sale now what else do we have here okay, another one what is this now there is one piece here that is intended for Christmas so hopefully this is my Christmas item let me just get my handy scissors okay this is not what I expected sure if this will be for Christmas. I'm waiting on a piece that I did order. Hopefully it's in this next package. Um, and this is a dress that I had my eye on for again ages. And this is by Saba. And this is a lovely linen um, sleeveless racer dress. And it has a lovely frill detail to the top. And it's just a mini dress with a bit of a poof at the bottom and a lovely burnt orange colour. So I can't wait to try that on. Again, a lovely linen summer piece, all in the Black Friday sale. Now, this does not feel like, no, this is not my dress. Let me go assess the mail room and see if I can find the dress that I had on order. Okay, I think I found it. I was starting to panic there. I have a few little uh, spots for my items. Oh, this is the lipstick, or is it? Sorry, I just need to top up my lippy. Oh, such a lovely curly peach. Mm, my favorite color. I love orangey lipsticks. I love lipsticks with the a kind of tone to it. Mm. Anyhow, <coughs> let's get into it. <laughs> the distractor. Yes? And that is this lovely parcel. Let's see if this could be a potential Christmas day dress. <gasps> Alright, so this is by, it doesn't have a label on the package. Let me let me open it for you. Okay, so this is the most exciting dress out of um, my little Black Friday haul. And this is the Air uh, Thai, what's it called? Thai Strap Tiered Dress. Now this is a emerald green or pine green, if you will, um, shirred back maxi dress and I just thought this was the essence of Christmas in Australia not overseas in Europe <laughs> where it's all cold in Australia where it's nice and warm during Christmas period and the bow sleeves attracted me it was very dish like which is another Australian linen brand that do this lovely um, bow tie linen dress which I will link up above but this was in such a Christmassy color and really practical for the heat and for the day because it's a little bit you know like um smart casual uh, with some lovely probably flats I would wear this with or wedges and I can't wait to try this on give it a bit of a steam make the bows really pop and uh, give this a go for Christmas day and again in linen because I'm addicted to linen and it's such a natural cooling beautiful fabric on your skin okay so I have to hop off to my meeting now um so I'll do my try on haul when I come back of my new items but I think I will actually stack my new Aurelia London, which you can find, I think, exclusively on the Iconic at the moment. And I'm going to add this to my little stack if I can manage to do it by myself. Come on. There we are. And doesn't that look absolutely beautiful against the pearls and the gold? All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so off to the meeting, and I had no idea because Smooth FM is playing Christmas carols right now, and the Beach Boys apparently have a Christmas carol in their itinerary. How crazy is that? But I love it. I'm here for it. Okay, for those of you who are interested in Panettone whatsoever, so see this brand, Flamini. Oh my gosh, since 1930, I don't doubt it. Okay. I've been searching for this panettone for maybe three years. I found it once. I got the chocolate version. It was hands down the best panettone, panettone I've ever tried in my life. However, this is a chestnut version, which I've never tried, but look at the price. $80. $80 for a panettone. I can't justify that, but oh my Lord, the best company. If you can afford it, try this brand. Amazing.
the best part. Okay, a meeting down, some fish and chips later, and a whole lot of unexpected Christmas shopping, but I believe we have it all done now, which is a relief actually. <laughs> And we are back home. It is now the evening and I'm making the best use of my time after I've gorged myself on an absolutely tremendous helping of fish and chips, but very much needed, um, to do this little try on haul of the recent purchases I made. Now this is a little linen number from Air. Sorry, I'm barefoot at the moment, but I don't mind because my tootsies are done. <laughs> Anywho, um, now this is my potential Christmas Eve, sorry, Christmas Day dress. Um, again, just cutting for all weather events. It's nice and modest, and I just loved the bow details. Also, I just loved the bow details on the sleeve. And again, this needs a bit of steam. And I think the bows can do with a bit of starching. But apart from that, I'm very happy with this dress. And I can also lower the neckline slightly um, just to make it maybe drop down to my waist a little more and just pair it with a cute little summer bag like this. Um, and I'm very happy with this one. So this is staying in my wardrobe. It's just a lovely emerald shade of green and suitable not just for Christmas, but for uh, the warmer months of the year. Okay, I couldn't resist a pair of heels for this little number but this is a beautiful mini dress from Saba and what got me was this absolutely gorgeous neckline I mean how dramatic is that this lovely frill neck so you still have a little bit of playful cleavage going on oh, cleavage x name on the cleavage you still have a bit of a playful decolletage area <laughs> with the neckline but a bit of modesty at the top i really love it i love high neck things and combined with the racer stop sorry that's my fish and chips coming up now <laughs> racer style of the sleeves this is absolutely wonderful such a gorgeous length just above the knees super super flattering and i just paired it with a lovely plain white ring bag which is a very old number from bets uh the shoe store <clears throat> which is made of linen i believe so just to match with the whole linen theme and oh, i feel super confident and super just girly in this I don't know. I feel like this could be the contender for the uh, Christmas Day dress. I don't know. But I'm feeling pretty, pretty, pretty good in this, as Larry David would say. If anyone has watched the show, uh, what is it, Curb Your Enthusiasm, you'll know that reference. Okay, so this is a very relaxed vibe. Now, I think I remember why I went for this, and it's very hard to see in this light, but this dress is actually two-toned. So this half is a darker shade of linen, and this is the more natural side. Now, I usually don't go for double pockets because it makes me too top-heavy. However, because the dress kind of billows out and you can adjust the um, tie strap, which is elasticated, which is a very nice feature and a very unusual feature for a dress like this, uh, for a wrap dress. <coughs> well, with a tie around the waist dress. Um, I'm really liking this. And also I'm liking with the, with the sleeves fully down. I don't think I want to roll them up. I really like the drama of these massive, massive cuffs that are going on here, uh, which I will do up at some point. Uh, these are fully uh, done up. And this is what the sleeve um, looks like. But yeah, I'm really liking this and it's very, very comfortable. I've kept my heels on because I'm feeling a bit sassy right now. I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling more positive. See, what a bit of uh, what a bit of Christmas shopping and festivities and just a bit of recreation can do for one's psyche, hey? <laughs> All the shallow stuff, but sometimes the shallow stuff is absolutely necessary. Anywho, uh, also, uh, keeping I'd say unfortunately but I don't really care this would be really good as well just with some plain um, house slippers so for example my ruby slides here we go also quite acceptable for just casual wear around the house very easy room for the food baby done I'm done. And a completely different look for me here, and not quite seasonally appropriate either, but this is a satin shirt by Daisy, another brand which I do follow. Uh, they do very Instagram-y kind of fashion and a lot of like risque stuff, so I'm not really into that part of it, but sometimes they bring out little numbers like this, which I'm very drawn to. Ooh, sorry, that was just a piece of brassiere, guys. Don't panic, it's just brassiere. Um, now, <coughs> 
I was thinking of belting this up, so I might try that in a minute. Um, this is how the shirt looks loose. And I was thinking of this with just some leggings, some slides, really cash. I couldn't, I actually don't have a pair of plain leggings, so that's something I do need to invest in. Um, I've already got ones with logos on them, but I'm really digging this as well. So very successful haul. I tell you what, if online shopping was a sport, I'd be very good at it. Perhaps I should look into that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm going to give this a belt up. Now, unfortunately, one of the buttons has just popped off one of the cuffs because one of the things that I liked about this top is that this, the cuffs are actually elasticated, so you can really like bring them to whatever length on your arm uh, that you wish. And it actually holds there, which is fantastic for satin because you think it might slip off. Uh, but I did go a little bit overboard and pop a button, which you know, I'm a bit disappointed, but luckily my mum can sew. Can I sew? No. Uh, anyhow, I'll pop a belt on so you can see what it looks like with a belt on. And here is the alternate way to wear this shirt, which is cinched in at the waist if you like that look. Um, and I'm really liking the whole baggy, floaty, silky thing going on. I'm digging it. So, uh, yeah, did a little bit of damage, but luckily, as I do recall now, because it's been that long ago, I did get this all in Black Friday. So, all is not lost, guys. I did get this at a bargain price. Uh, thank you. The Lord for that. Now the next time you may see me, I will be uh, baking and glamming and wrapping and getting ready for the big family festivities to come. So I will check in with you now. Then. One final thing before I head off. Um, I was going to do a gift guides video, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be uploaded in time, and it's just not going to make it, guys. Let's just face it. We don't have time. So I thought I'd quickly run through what I, we actually popped out to get today for a few little gifts. Now, Peter Alexander have some really lovely affordable options for those little gifts that you want to give to like colleagues or um, teachers or um, just, you know, uh, extended uh, people in your circle. Um, so I found a Peter Alexander and they supply these really cute little gift bags with them as well, which is so gorgeous. Um, it's a Christmas deep tree uh, decoration, but in the form of a candle. And this is a Taha Fair, which is their famous vanilla caramel scent. So I picked up this little bauble with a candle inside and they also are selling individual soaps as well. And people used to joke as well, like, you know, you mustn't smell good because you're getting all this soap, you know, on your birthday and Christmas. But honestly, it is a really neutral gift to give. And also you make use out of it. It's practical. Um, so they had a few different scents here. Um, it's the first time I've seen a bar soap at Peter Alexander. This is the milk and uh, nectar. It's triple milled soap, which I'm not sure what that means, to be honest. But I'm assuming it means it's better than single milled soap, whatever that is. <laughs> so I got those as little gifty things. I got a few more of those as well. And another thing that you can never fail with is the good old panettone. And don't even get me started, guys. I bought a panettone when I was out. Another chocolate one. Yeah. Yeah. I've already bought a Bailey's one. I'll show you that towards the end of the video. But I've gone a little bit nuts uh, on the panettone. Anyhow, that's another great gift to give to others or yourself. Let's face Sorry, it. I had to go get that one. Uh, another affordable thing is go look at your local chemist because they often have really great gifting ideas that cover all bases from makeup bits to fragrances um, and beauty buys. But I found this. Now, you would have seen this in two videos ago. I'll link it up above if it's relevant. Um, when I hopped into Chemist Warehouse and I had to go back for it, it actually smells really really good. Um, this is, and for anyone who lives in Australia, you will get this reference, uh, VB. So Victoria Bitter, very famous uh, Aussie beer, uh, and a beer that we actually do enjoy. Um, <clears throat> this is the stubby version, <laughs> shaped like a VB bottle. It's absolutely hilarious, um, but it actually smells very sophisticated. So I, I grabbed this for some family members. I grabbed a few of those. And then also you can't go wrong with the good old Toblerone, a very classic gift to be gifting during this season. So you can't go wrong with lovely smelly bits and some food bits. Honestly, it's a crowd pleaser. All right. Santa's sleigh ride. Who will see in the video? Oh, the sun was setting and the snow was thick on the ground. And Why? Santa made the final preparations for his long journey through the night. <laughs> 